Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Challenge Super Flat World, Super Flat Map Edition. Uh, really, it's it's really something else. It's it completely changes the way I guess you play the game in the sense that is this symmetrical? No, it's not symmetrical. In the sense that uh, when you normally start a new map, you punch a tree, get your wood, build, build your first shelter. But uh, playing hardcore mode challenge on a super flat world, there are no trees. And so it just really changes up how you would play, how you play a uh, hardcore mode challenge. And I think it's good. It's interesting. It really keeps me on my toes with all these slimes coming after me. I can't really stand still for very long to gather resources. I'm constantly on the run. And it's da really dangerous at night because for some reason in Super Flat World mobs spawn like crazy in this sort of ring around you. So you're trying to escape the slime so you run out this way and then you'll be running towards running towards creepers, zombies, skeletons. There's no, like, uh, any place to, no cover but from which you can hide behind. And you're looking, you're running backwards, you're trying to avoid those guys. So actually, you really shouldn't run backwards when running away from the slimes. You'll just end up running into a creeper. So I'm getting some cobblestone. I'm going to collect a lot of cobblestone this first NPC village. Just so that I can have enough raw material for making tools and such. And the goal of this series, in which the moment in which I'll consider myself to have won this challenge, is that I need to collect 20 gold blocks and then build a gold mendel sponge. Mental sponge is sort of like a cube with the holes in it. Do not push me. Do, do not push me. What the hell? Get out of here. Cultist guys. Like a, he's got purple cult robes. And let's see here. So yeah, I'm gathering a lot of cobblestone, and I also want to build with it later, I guess. I'm going to try and build some kind of sky headquarters, just to get away from the slimes. They are kind of irritating. How they're always, always around you, trying to get you. Well, there went that stone pick. I should build a few. And basically, the only way I'm going to be able to win this challenge is by finding uh, chests in NPC villages that are randomly generated with goodies. I found, uh, like, iron swords and armor in there before, and I know that gold ingots will spawn in them. I don't know how common that is, though, so I could make this challenge kind of lengthy. And, okay, I also need some... Stone picks. I could use this wooden pick. In fact, I'll probably use that up while I have it. I could just... Normally, I would, you know, people toss away the wood picks, but I gotta be as efficient as I can. I can't really afford to waste any materials, any resources. Yeah, I keep on... Moving away too soon. So I need to get as much cobblestone as I can. And if it weren't for these slimes, you know, doggedly pursuing me, I'd probably, you know, tear apart this entire village for the resources before I moved on, but that's just not... There's, it's just not viable because if I I can't just stand still long enough to in order to do that. How is he getting up to me? Come on, blow them up. Blow them up. Please blow them up. 
Dang it. So yeah, so when I try and leave this spot, I'm going to have to like just make a huge run for it. Alright. Oh. Now tiny ones will be able to get in here if I leave it like that. Dang it. Better put it back. I'll collect the middle ones though. Now here's some zombies. I don't really need ladders at all. So I'll get rid of those. Actually, that's wrong. I'll need ladders. Dang it. Crap. Well, I do want to kill spiders for their string. So I'll eventually be able to make bows, and I'll collect arrows from skeletons that are killed by the sunlight. I'm going to make a few swords here because you run through them pretty fast. Killing slimes and stuff. Jeez. Cannot get through these guys. Now see, this is the huge problem when fighting these slimes. And I would recommend that you don't kill the slimes if you can help it. Because then it just turns into this huge horde of the slime. And by the time you kill them all, more slimes appear. So you just end up basically this endless... Oh, come on. Now he gets up here? You just end up with a lot of this huge horde of slimes. I would recommend killing the little ones with your hand or something. I see you there, creeper. Because it's just going to eat through your sword's durability. You know, kill the ones that are gonna that can hurt you, but don't use your sword on the little guys. Look at all the experience, Jesus. That is insane. Die, creeper. Let's collect some more food. Some more wheat. I'm going to attract the attention of these big slimes, which is kind of bad. Dang it. See, did they suddenly come out of nowhere? It really annoys me. I think they're spawning or something. I'm really hoping there's a chest. I can't really tell if I've explored every house because I end up having to run away. But how I mess, how I like lay, let myself know that I've explored a place is by. Dang, I need some dirt. I do not need a door though. I'll get rid of that in a moment when I've got the time. Get this wheat, get this wheat, get this wheat, get this wheat. Sweet wheat. Huh? They can't get up here. I know they'll get up here when here in a moment. So, okay, so priority now is to make sure that there's no chests in this town, get some more wood, and leave to find another town that might have some chests. Ah, dang it, now it's, it's starting to get real bad again, where there's just a ton of slimes. I'm going to have to boost away from them. Well, there's more over here, too. Jesus. There's, like, no escape from the slimes. I don't know if strongholds appear. 
on the super flat world. It's not something I've done. I should what I should really do is explore in creative mode on a super flat world and see if strongholds will appear. Because if they do, I would like to use one of those as a headquarters. I wouldn't be breaking any blocks because silverfish are just that's a nightmare. I know I was here earlier. Right. There's no chest in here either. But I'll try and collect some wood from here. Then I guess then I guess I'll be on my way because I don't I don't think there's any chests in this town. So we'll finish this up with getting the basic materials that I should have plenty of. Look, another one got in. How did he... Did he open that door? I hope not. So, I just gotta grab a substantial amount of wood. I should... Because I'm gonna be using it as fuel for when I... I don't know. What I, what I need it for is, uh, I need to cook food. How is he getting in here for, how are those little ones, like, getting up two high blocks? I don't know. So I need to, like, I need wood for cooking food in, uh, furnaces. So I guess I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how much that's going to end up taking. But I guess whatever I get from this house will just have to be good enough and I'll move on. Oh, well, there went that stone axe. I'll make another one here. I'll take this with me. So I'm gonna, I want to try and make... I don't really want to be wasting wood on crafting crafting benches. I could get away. Get away. I want to get as much of this wood as possible. Alright. Oh, dang it. I just almost got cornered there by these guys. Ah, oh, shoot, I need to make a pit stop real quick, actually. I need to turn the sweet into... Ah, oh, don't do that. Bread. That's a lot of bread. That'll last me a little while, actually. Alright. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.